We come to you this day to remind you that we are one. We encompass all our volunteers who locked in to the third or fourth holographic game of third dimensional Earth. You may have some movies on your television in which the Greek gods are seeing the mere humans below them. They have the power to influence these mortals with their mere thoughts. As you know, the above scenario is correct, but it's not correct that you are mere humans. You are actually the gods that are overlighting your way through the confusing maze of transmutational earth. Yes, Lady Gaia is transmuting more every day. However, Please remember that transformation and transmutation are very different terms. Transformation means that something is added or taken away to create change. However, the frequency of what which is transformed remains the same. On the other hand, transmutation does not involve taking away or adding to, but transmutation does raise the frequency of the person, place, situation or thing. Many of those who are locked into the 3D game are trapped because they want to add, take, take away or alter something or someone. However, that manner of thinking actually traps them in the game because their third-dimensional thinking can only create a third-dimensional solution. Your return to light body begins with returning to the thoughts and emotions that resonate to the fifth-dimensional now of the One. Once you choose to release thoughts that are time-based and emotions about what someone else did or did not do to or for you, you find that you are the creator of your life. For example, When you are focused on the now of your decision to think, do, feel, and or respond, you are within the now of that choice. Then, when you are tired, overworked, and or just not able to attend to your choices of perception and reactions, you realize that fact and give yourself unconditional love. <clears throat> Ascension is not about being perfect, but about being loving and forgiving. Perfect is a third dimension term which is the opposing concept 
to be flawed. Both perfect and flawed are based on judgment as well as on polarized opposites. How will it be to live in the reality in which there are no extremes such as perfect or flawed? How will it feel how will it feel to live in a world in which there is no judgment or concept of these concepts? At first, you may not notice that the now of the one surrounds you. As even though your consciousness may be greatly expanded, the force of your 3D habit is difficult to break. Even now, many of you are actually resonating beyond the 3D matrix, but are only aware of that fact while engaged in meditation or some spiritual or and creative endeavor. Why does that occur? How could you be within a higher state of consciousness and not be aware of it? Simply you are not tuning into yourself. You are looking outside, outside of you and into the matrix. You are doing that because you forgot that the portal out of matrix is inside of you. You, which is your light body, is in the core of your body inside your candelini, inside of your spinal cord. Since your candelini is usually latent within your core, you do not realize your own force of transmutation. Hence you are looking up into the heavens and out into other person, place, or thing. You have been trained by a 3D game to believe that you are not good enough. You have been told that you must improve and or heal yourself. We say to our dear away team, you do not need to improve or heal yourself. You need to remember your multidimensional self. Just as a huge tree has leaves that die and fall from the tree, just as a rose bush has some buds that do not bloom, there are parts of your life that do not reach their potential. <clears throat> It is not bad or embarrassing that you do not reach your 3D potential, as that potential was likely given to you by another person or by society. It is for this reason that so many of you totally change your life when you awaken to your higher consciousness. Once your sense of self expands from the earth vessel you are wearing to the you who resides within that vessel, all the 3D indoctrinations of good enough 
begin to diminish. When you are the life force within the body you are wearing, your consciousness expands far beyond your physical limitation and to the now, into the now of the one. That voice that you have always heard within you, within your heart, is you. That high being that you have dreamed about is you. That goal that was unachievable in your physical version of self now resonates to the heart and mind of your higher dimensional self. Once you come to that realization, you are no longer concerned about what they think. Instead, you are concerned about, about what you think, do, have or believe. You begin to perceive others as lights of consciousness within in the 3D matrix of the, their human form. Furthermore, your human form is not better than the form of an animal or plant. Once you realize that you are not your body, that you are merely wearing your body so you could log in into the 3D game, Other people in the game are also seen as consciousness wearing a form. Do you remember? Do you remember when you only knew about your 3D form and had no idea about the consciousness who was there wearing it? Your old perspective was almost like the old belief that the earth was the center of the universe and the sun rotated around it. Now you look back and think, how could they ever believe that the sun rotated around the earth? You will not need to answer that question, as there is no reason to complicate your life by trying to educate or change those who are not ready to know. However, more and more do want to know. Your self will recognize their true self because of your joint expanded perceptions. Because of your shared awareness, you will know that they are wearing their earth vessel. Then you can share with each other about how you first expanded your perceptions into the fourth dimensional astral body. You can also share how you began to perceive yourself as your fifth-dimensional light-body self. These conscious perceptions of your fifth-dimensional light-body are initially experienced by your gamma-wave consciousness. Your greatest challenge will be to remember that experience in your daily life. Therefore, we strongly suggest you that you immediately document this experience. Also, if you begin this meditation with a companion who can ask you questions about your experience, it will assist you to speak about that what is occurring. Speaking about your experience brings it into a 3D conscious brain 
to formulate the words. In this manner, you will begin to learn, remember, how to allow the gamma wave consciousness to interface with your physical form in a manner in which you can document. You will remember and share your adventures in the higher frequencies of the One. Each time you have a gamma wave experience, you will become more and more comfortable with the concept that you are your light body and a physical form is your outer shell. Hence you have progressed from believing that you are the physical form into believing that you are the fourth dimensional consciousness that enlivens that form into knowing that you are the multidimensional consciousness that enlivens that form into knowing that you are the fifth dimensional and beyond light body that awaits activation within the core of your spine into experiencing the feel of being your light body when you have your experience of being light body you will need to make sure that your physical earth vessel is in a safe place. It is also helpful if you have a person to assist you in grounding your light body by asking your questions about your experience and documenting, documenting them. You can also record your experience. Remember with your first adventures in light body. Your challenge will be to stay within that experience. Doubt of fear will pull out consciousness down into the lower brain waves. On the other hand, unconditional love and compassion for all life will assist you to remain in a gamma wave state of consciousness. Again, we highly suggest that you ask someone to be your grounding force. This person can also ask you questions about your experience so that you have a reminder of how it felt and what you experienced while traveling in the higher realities. Yes, just a theta wave consciousness allows you to travel into the realms of the higher fourth dimension and delta wave consciousness places your perception of self outside of your physical form. Gamma wave consciousness activates your light body, also known as your Merkaba. Your Merkaba is your carryout of the gods. Within your now, gods are not far away in heaven or some other realm. You are all that has been titled gods within your own gamma wave consciousness. Now this information has been suppressed by the forces of power over others. If the minions of humanity were to know their true power within, the forces of power of other would be put out of business. In fact, this power over others group, also known as the Kabbal, the Illuminati, and many other names that will be not disclosed at this now, have lost the final battle to gain complete power over Gaia. As you are likely aware, they have had a very long run through all the years of the Kali Yuga, which is the final cycle of the darkest night before the dawn. The dawn has now awakened. 
many still slumber in the illusions of polarity and domination of an outside force. Therefore, our dear ones who volunteered to enter your current incarnation to assist in awakening humanity and healing Gaia, <clears throat> we ask you to please come out, come out of wherever you are. You no longer need to play hide and seek with your own higher self. It is the now to be yourself in your daily life. There will be days in which you may feel as though you are flying through the life and other days in which you will feel as though you are trudging through mud. Obviously, you will be able to maintain higher state of consciousness when you are flying and will likely fall into better wave consciousness when you are trudging. The up-down roller coaster of life in the third dimension, dimension is slowly coming to the end of its ride. You were joyful when the ride carried you up and frightened when the ride sent you down. But the roller coaster ride is being retired as the entire 3D amusement park. This park was invaded by darkness way back in the later days of Atlantis. And that darkness has grown by creating myriad wars in which both sides were backed by the same dark ones for the sole purpose of filling their own pockets. As this behavior escalated over the last 2000 years, Gaia began to take the greatest hit to her health and welfare. When the planet became so deeply wounded by the people who occupied her, in fact, by a relatively small group of those people, your galactic family was given permission by the higher forces to assist the planet and the humans who would accept our unconditional love and multidimensional light. Because humanity is choosing to accept your light and love, we didn't break the law of Gaia's free will plane. At first, only a few humans could hear that we were calling that they that we were calling them. Therefore, many of our decided to implant the essence of our higher expression of self into the human form of those who accepted the assignment of assisting Gaia. It was extremely challenging for our volunteers who begin this process after the close of World War II. These first volunteers had to remain secret about their true self. Many of those who didn't keep the secret were harmed or killed. However, over 3D time, those who survived were able to assist others to awaken and commune with their own higher expressions of self. You are now beginning to open and enter your Arcturian Corridor of Ascension. These corridors are entered and explored by your own gamma wave consciousness. Please remember that it is the force of unconditional love and compassion for all life that it allows you to regain and retain your gamma consciousness. In the next post we offer a recording of our channel's experience with gamma wave consciousness. Please remember that perception is creation. Therefore, as, as, you're, as you each travel into the fifth dimension and beyond, you will experience that your own consciousness can best recognize and attend to. Therefore, each of you may have very different experiences 
because each of you will choose different perceptions. In this manner, you will create myriad different versions of fifth dimensional new earth. We remind you again that you are the creator of your own reality. When you begin your consciousness travel, your conscious travel into and through the high dimensions, each of you will gather your own puzzle piece of life in the fifth dimension and beyond. When you return to your physical reality, you will contribute your puzzle pieces that you have collected in your interdimensional journey to the planetary puzzle of Ascending Gaia. Most important, always remember that you are already ascended in the higher dimensional expressions of your multidimensional self. You didn't take a body to advance your own spiritual growth. The days of individual spiritual leaders and saints ceased with the closing of the Piscean Age. We thank you for remembering. It is this remembering that is vital so that you can remain clear of the jaws of your 3D ego. Love your ego unconditionally and place your multidimensional self in the driver's seat of your mission to Earth. We now post Susie's fifth dimensional journey. Please remember that each of you will, each of you will perceive that which is in alignment with your own reason for incarnation. Then you can add that individual puzzle piece to the one puzzle of planetary ascension. We send you all unconditional love and unconditional gratitude, the Arcturians, Pleiadians and other members of the Galactic Federation of Light.